I'm here with Nadi Babali, the Communications Director for FTTH Council in Europe. Nadi, we're here in Warsaw, another very successful event, and, and people might think, uh, why Poland? A lot of planning goes into that. Indeed. Um, the first thing that uh, gets done is that we need to select a country uh, because the FTTH conference uh, moves every year and we have managed so far never to go back to the same place twice. Um, it is becoming more difficult because we are growing into an event that is difficult to fit into a you know conference center. Um, but uh, this level of discussions uh, of discussion is done at you know with our board and our members and we uh, try to see um, to go to countries that already have a very high fiber penetration um, to showcase what they have done to uh, people from other countries who come to the conference we have by the way delegates from uh, approximately 85 countries so the conference wow. could be a showcase if we are in a country with a lot of fiber like Stockholm last year and it could also be going to a country where there is no fiber yet and we are hoping to make an impact and maybe influence um, the decisions that are being made by the stakeholders on the choice of NGA in this country and this would be the case in Poland where they are currently making some key decisions on the access solutions. Uh, they have now built the core fiber network in the country uh, with European funding and in this next phase of European funding for the access uh, solutions they are currently making some choices so it was perfect timing for us to be in Poland this year. Yes, and you've had some you've had some government speakers, you've had some excellent case studies. I think perhaps people have learned a lot about Poland I in the last couple of days. Indeed, and this is also um, so apart from the choice once once a country, once a city uh, has been selected, of course it depends on the venue, but I will not bore you with the lo you know the details of the logistics, but uh, what is very important is that the conference is the visible tip of the iceberg. So people who come to the conference, you know, we have uh, around 3,000 people. Um, it's a big event, but there's a lot of work that goes into the preparation in the nine to 12 months before the event um, in meeting with the stakeholders. So meeting with the ministries, with the regulators, the operators, speaking at events locally to inform people about Fiber to the Home, about the conference. Uh, so we have a, a double objective. We our role as the FTTH Council Europe is to spread the word about Fiber to the Home um, and accelerate the adoption of Fiber to the Home in Europe. So the more we inform people about the benefits of Fiber, the better. And the second objective, obviously, is because we organize an event, we would like a lot of people to come to the event. And since we are changing cities, uh, the people where we are going next do not know yet about our event. So we need to also spread the word at local events about um, our events, the FTTH conference. So you'll be doing this in, uh, in Luxembourg in the next few months? Exactly, yes. Our next uh, event in 2016 is uh, to be held in Luxembourg um, in February, to always in February. And um, we will be, yeah, as soon as I have rested a little bit, <laughs> uh, yeah, I will start uh, going on a regular basis uh, to Luxembourg uh, to meet the stakeholders. And we know already, we heard yesterday, we had uh, strong support from uh, the government, uh, which is very good news because it's always easier for us to organize the event when we are in a friendly mm -hmm. uh, environment where the government is supporting um, our efforts to uh, encourage Fiber to the Home. And you've been very successful here. You must be delighted with uh, with this year's show. Yes, we are. We are pretty pleased uh, with the event. It's true. It's the fourth year uh, running that uh, we have reached 3,000 delegates. So it's uh, really quite uh, amazing for a real um, focused event. It's just focused on fiber to the home, but yet. Um, we are amazed ourselves that we managed to continue to gather so many people and I think it's a good, very good sign as uh, Karen Al, our president, was saying in her opening speech that um, fiber to the home has really become the main um, you know, thing, the main uh, solution, uh, access solution that uh, people are talking about now in, the, you know, in Europe, everywhere. Um, everybody knows it is the only future-proof solution and now the question is how to do it and you know, how to finance it and um, it, it's, it's very exciting for us to be in the middle of this. 
Yes, I mean, planning an event like this, it doesn't just happen. There's a lot of activity, a lot of stress, a lot of organisation, a mm -hmm. lot of detail. What are some of the key elements to, to make this a, a happening event the way it is? I think what is really special about our event is um, it's big, but it's a bit, um, there's also a bit of a, not family spirit to be pushing it too, too, too far, but um, yeah, there's a, a feeling of it's friendly uh, because we really make, sh we really um, ensure that people have a good networking experience. So there's a conference, there are workshops, there is an expo, but you find those ingredients in many conferences. But our event, we really try to put all some additional ingredients in the mix so that people really enjoy the networking. So it's the food, it's the networking areas, and it's also the fact that we do not outsource the organization to an external agency. So we really organize this conference. Of course, we have help from an agency on the, the logistics side, but it is really our event. And um, since we are a you know, non-for-profit non organization, I think our members really take a very active part in the preparation, in inviting guests, uh, in preparing the program, and this is really reflected. Um, in the results, uh, which, thank you for saying, I think is quite nice. Thank you. Well, congratulations and, and have a few days off. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so there we are. It's next stop, Luxembourg for the FTTH Council Europe event.